loves learning except correction. But a person who hates being corrected is stupid. The Lord is pleased with a good person, but he will be punished any he will punish anyone who plans evil. Doing evil brings no safety at all.
want success. Here's your model. You want achievement. Here's your prototype. You want bright lights, pageants, and media attention. Consider the front page, center of article of the nation's largest, largest daily newspaper. It is a caricature of Miss America. The vital data of the 51% participants has been compiled to present the perfect woman. She has brown hair. She has brown eyes. She knows how to sing and has a perfect figure. 35, 24, 35. She is Miss America. The message trumpets off the page. This is the standard for American women. The implication is clear. Do what it takes to be like her. Firm your thighs. Deepen your cleavage. Pamper your hair. Improve your walk. No reference is made to her convictions, to her honesty, to her faith, or to her God. But you are told her hip size. In a small photo, for inches to the left is another woman. Her face is thin. Her skin is wrinkled. Almost leathery. No makeup. No blush. No lipstick. There is a faint smile on her lips. And I glint in her eyes. She looks pale. Perhaps it's my imagination. Or perhaps it's time. Caption read, Mother Teresa, in serious condition. Mother Teresa. You know her story. When she won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1985, she gave the $200,000 to the poor of Calcutta. When a businessman bought her a new car, she sold it and gave the money to the underprivileged. She owned nothing. She owes nothing. Two women, Miss America and Mother Teresa. One walks the boardwalk. The other walks the alley. Two voices. One promises grounds, flowers, and crowds. The other promises service, surrender. It's an ongoing thing where we forget. This is why it's important.